So, Gio, I know, I know Tesla got a lot on their plate, and uh, they haven't really even built all the cars they've announced that they were going to build uh, at this point. But it's always fun to speculate on what the next model from Tesla is going to be. You know, we've seen rumors of uh, a compact car, maybe for China. Uh, more recently, Elon has reaffirmed that down the line, there's possibly going to be a smaller pickup. And uh, maybe even people are hopeful for a Model S and X refresh. So uh, I'm here to ask you, what do you think is going to be the next model that Tesla is going to make? Well, the next one, that's, not, that's, that's a hard one to answer. But let's run through real quick all these new models that are on the table. Mm -hmm. They have the Roadster, which was supposed to be released this year and was extended Mm -hmm. the semi which was also supposed to be released this year which was extended but is now back on the table the Cybertruck they just broke ground on the factory in Texas that's supposed to come out next year mm -hmm. at the end um, the rumor for a compact car came out of Higa Shanghai mm -hmm. which is supposed to be for the Asian and European markets did we ever here if that was supposed to hit us shores well they didn't really i don't know if they even really said anything official it's just when they said that there was going to be a separate design center in china one of the like they were concept renderings was a small looking um no i want Tesla. to say that they did confirm that they were going to design a compact car correct like that was something yeah confirmed. but i'm pretty sure he elon said that it was going to be with the intention of it being a worldwide release. Okay. Okay. But no timeline was ever set for no. that. No. And even so, Giga Shanghai is how many years away from completion? A year or two? Well, I think they should finish the Model Y portion of the factory by sometime early next year. And then we have a. Uh... We have Berlin under construction currently, and that's supposed to be for the Model Y. Mm -hmm. And what else? What did they report in their quarterly? Is it just the Model Y there? And then eventually the Model 3. The Model 3 and Model Y, and the Cybertruck's supposed to be built in Texas alongside the Model Y. Those are just all com confirmations. Mm -hmm. Elon did recently talk about the smaller Cybertruck that would most likely be for, I think he had mentioned it, it would be for European and Asian markets as well, where smaller cars do better. So I'd assume that would either be built in Berlin or in Shanghai. Well, he didn't specifically said it would be for the European markets. It's just the tweet he was replying to said that... Had mentioned it. The person replying, the, the person sending the tweet said that a smaller pickup truck would make more sense in the Euro European market. But then Elon just kind of said that yeah, a smaller pickup truck is down the line, but I don't I don't know if that was enough confirmation to say that it would theoretically only be for the European market. It's true. But clearly Tesla's not on a path of producing every single car at every factory. They're designating Correct. specific factories for specific cars. And with Shanghai's construction before it was developed, they mentioned that it would be for the lower end Model 3Y and affordable cars. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe the, maybe it'll be built in Shanghai. They do have the production space. Mm -hmm. Or in the New Berlin. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'd be... I don't think it's recent. I don't think it's anywhere so, anytime soon. I think that's far out. Yeah. Roadster, we have no idea where that's going to be built. Um, they did... There, there's been rumors about a Model S and X refresh or even the possibility of just getting rid of the two cars and producing two newer ones. For a while now, I don't know if you saw, there was a story on Electric maybe a couple weeks back that there's a current current new project at Tesla for the Model S and X. Yeah. Remember Project Raven was in charge of you know making the next gen Model S and X. There's a newer one now. The rumors that that's going to be the full refresh or just a secondary second version of the car entirely i don't know what's next do you don't know i don't know what what hole do you think is in tesla's lineup that you think they're missing do you think it's any of the ones that we're we're speculating on or not speculating but we've been hinted at 
or you think there's something else that's going to be next in between? I mean, I feel like the the models that we're speculating on are already like a pretty wide range. The only model that we haven't really touched on is like either a van, which I'm really doubtful. Which, which has been mentioned. True. At one point, I want to say last year, Elon mentioned that, yeah, a yeah. van was possible. He also did mention that a larger SUV or a should larger be in the works SUV. eventually. Yeah. Those are the only that was recent. two like other uh, spots in the lineup that haven't been filled. Some sort of big SUV or a van slash minivan of sort. I don't really see a minivan or van with, being on the table. With the Cybertruck being such a, a utility vehicle and it not necessarily being targeted towards, but it being useful for the commercial industry, do you think Tesla's going to, and with the semi-truck as well, do you think Tesla's going to start targeting commercial vehicles before they make a next consumer vehicle? It might make more. It might make the most sense because they they don't really have a vehicle targeting commercial industry. Um, I I'm gonna remain doubtful on that one, at least for anywhere in the near future. Like I don't even see it in the next five years, to be honest. If they even plan to go for, do you see any new car in the next five years, uh, apart from the Cybertruck, of course, the confirmed one? By twenty, you think anything that's that's hinted at, rumored at, stated, will hit before um, 2025. Like start production or be announced? Start production. Start production. I could potentially see a small compact in China being produced at the very tail end of 2025, 2024, something like that. I mean, it, I, a lot of efforts right now obviously have to be in making sure that the Cybertruck which doesn't even start production until the end of 2021 and then the the single motor not until 2022. So they have their hands full there and then they got to still build up Berlin. So it's still going to be a while before they even make a new um, model. Uh, my question to you is, you know, Elon has said that it's going to be a smaller truck. Do you think it's going to be a smaller cyber truck? Do you think they're going to continue that design into a smaller truck? Or it's going to be more conventional well, looking? Be before the cyber truck was unveiled, Elon made a statement on a podcast where he was kind of hinting at the design. He said it was going to be out of this world and yeah. people might not like it. Yeah. And if they do like it, then it's great. But if they don't, they'll just create a, a second regular yeah. truck. Yeah. I think it would be smart for Tesla to create a second regular truck, even even though the Cybertruck's doing great on pre-orders, and I think it's going to do even better when it's released. Mm -hmm. There's still going to be a market for the traditional truck buyer. The Cybertruck demographic is not the truck market. So if they create an actual pickup, it, it could do very well in the truck market, which is one of the leading segments. I think it is the leading segment in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... I had a similar thought, but then I was thinking like um, if they were bothered to go through all the effort of des completely designing a new model from the ground up instead of just miniaturizing what they already have. Just doing what they did with the three and Y yeah. and use an X amount of components. Well, actually, you know, they had originally stated that they were going to use what was like 70% of the Model 3 parts for the Model Y. Mm -hmm. But what we're seeing out of Berlin is that it's been reworked, so yeah. they actually didn't even stick with that plan. Yeah. So they've never actually done that because the the S to the X are completely different vehicles. The three to the Y were supposed to have parts shared, and they do in America. But the Giga Berlin, we're seeing it being reworked entirely. So it's not really a safe assumption to think that they would do it again, especially since they're backing away from that here's here's the like more going back to the compact car a little bit of a a mind melt here is do you think it's gonna have low range and be affordable because all these compact cars like zoe uh, yeah, zoe 
what are some other European compact cars? They all have relatively low range, at least compared to something like a Model 3 at over 300 miles. They're in the 200s, mm-hmm. which is more than enough for an A to B daily driver compact car. Mm-hmm. These are not cars that are ever meant to go on road trips. But Elon Musk's recent tweet said that under 250 miles is just unacceptable. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's that's going to be a strict policy at Tesla, or do you think that was specified for the Model Y? Is the compact car going to even be affordable? If it's got to hit 300 miles, that's that's a lot of battery costs. Some people would rather have an upfront, um, upfront savings versus longer range. Right. Well, there's obviously a lot of variables. Um, obviously, time is one of the biggest. Uh, I Like we've already said, we don't expect a compact car from Tesla anywhere soon. Uh, so, you know, if we even assume that it won't come out till 20, 2024, 2025, there's a lot of room for batteries to get even cheaper and higher uh, energy capacities and everything to to bring down the cost per um, kilowatt hour by that point. So that's one thing. Uh, Two, it's going to depend on if it actually, uh, A, is designed primarily for the Chinese market and B, will be released outside the Chinese market. Um, I feel... Like, yes, it has to be cheap because uh, people have a hard time paying a large amount of money for small cars. It's just an unfortunate consequence that if a car is small, it has to be cheap. Um, I don't personally agree with that, but that's beside the point. Uh, you you do lose out on utility, but still. Um, so theoretically, this compact car should be the smallest car in Tesla's lineup, and thus it should be the cheapest car in Tesla's lineup. So with the Model 3 uh, $35,000 still being kind of available, though off the menu type of thing, it has to be cheaper than thirty five grand. So it probably has to be somewhere in the $30,000 range. And I think they can get to that point in four years, five years, and have... I think that's way too high for a compact car. What do you mean? Thirty, Even 30,000, that's way too high. You have a lot of these cars start sub-20. No. What new car starts oh, yeah. below 20? Besides, a, like, a Honda Civic, which is, like, 19.9. Like half the Ford lineup. <laughs> Ford doesn't even have any like compact cars Ford anymore. Lineup. Well, half the Ford lineup before they got rid of cars. <laughs> Listen, man, a Volkswagen Golf is still in the low two twenty thousands. What's a Zoe start at? The Renault? It's the... like 25? Yeah, but that's like euros, so even more in dollars. Well, I only speak Bitcoin. Yeah. Um... Well, it well, I'm not I'm not finished. So um I feel like they might bend the rules of their 250 miles being unacceptable for like a Chinese domestic market exclusive one where where being cheap as possible is, is important because China has like 20,000 different electric car brands right now vying for people's attention. So I can see like a China specific version of the compact car having like 200 miles of range and being much cheaper than what they'll plan to give the Americans and the Europeans. Um, so that's that's what I see. So yes and no. Do you think that this route in general is a smarter route? Moving towards uh, maintaining a higher range over focusing on affordability? Because there's, you know, 400 miles on a Model S is nice and all, but a, a 200 mile range Model S would literally costs ten thousand dollars less five to ten thousand dollars less that's that's a significant amount especially on a monthly payment listen man the first thing and i know you've seen it over the past two years the first thing anyone ever sees or talks about when a new electric car comes out is not the price it's the range we've seen it basically anyone on uh twitter discredits any car with less than, basically what Elon said, with less than 250 miles, the car might as well not exist, regardless of the price. It could, you know, 
So I feel like at this point in time and for the considerable future, uh, until electric cars actually become the predominant type of car Marketing on the road, is more important. the range will be the the much more important metric than the price. I mean, obviously, if the car is like $100,000, then yeah, that outweighs the, the thing. But, you know, if the difference is between 30000 and 35000 40000 I feel like the range will be the 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 bigger um, number in most people's heads. So what's the next car? We didn't. Uh, we we just did a lot of background. So, but 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 what's the next car? You think a Model S refresh? Do you even think <sighs> there's going to be a Model, Model S refresh? refresh? Well, we, well, well, well. Pause. We do know that the uh, the Plaid is coming out this year, October, November. True, but that's not really a refresh. That's like. The current That's the question S with, with this new, is this new uh, little group they have at Tesla, the new Raven, is it, is the Plaid going to be the original Model S or is it going to be a full refresh? I think it's going to be the original Model S. Well, if it is the original Model S, it would make no sense for them to do a model refresh so soon after. Um, do we have information on like any updates at least on the Roadster? Or it's just there? It's just there. It's you know, on the back burner. I mean, the last time Elon even talked about it was on a podcast, like I think six months ago at this point, where he's like, yeah, you know, we're going to make it. It's a cool thing, but, you know, you got to understand that there's just more important, the high volume cars are more. Remember, he also said, he also said the same thing about the semi. He said in the Q1 earnings, he said, we could build the semi right now, but we don't have the battery supplies and it would take away from three or four model threes we could build instead. And now here they are ramping up semi-production. Yeah. But I mean, semi has at least some like commercial benefits and they'll get, you know, but the, the, the roadster is more of just like a, a, a toy, you know, it's just a, it's a supercar, but you know, I love supercars, but in the grand scheme of things, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the dessert, you know. There's no protein, there's, yeah. there's no meat. Well, if if we aren't counting the the Plaid Model S, mm-hmm. and we do think that it's gonna be the same version of the current Model S, mm-hmm. just you know, new motors faster, mm-hmm. and we don't count the semi because it's a commercial right. vehicle. I mean, the Cybertruck's clearly gonna come out before any new vehicle. Yeah. So if we don't count that, also. Mm-hmm. Um, question being whether a full refresh on a Model S, a compact car, or something entirely different, or a small small truck, a small SUV. It could be a small truck, maybe a van. Um, small truck. I I think my answer to that is they are going to make a hydrogen uh, pickup truck to compete with the Nikola Badger. I, I think I think Nikola Badger has really got the lead here. And Tesla needs to <laughs> jump on it before it's too late, and they gotta they gotta take over that hydrogen market. So yeah, that, that's that's the <laughs> that's I think that's the note I'll end that on. <laughs> okay. And for a more serious answer on this side, I'm gonna go with a compact car. So, um, so it's either gonna be a compact car or a uh, hydrogen electric pickup truck to rival the Nikola Badger. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, thank you. <laughs>